Hi everyone, Mehmet is here. Today I will talk about creating 3D math art on GeoGebra. And here is the house I just created guys on a 3D calculator. Everything you see here was created on R3, the real coordinate space, by only using points and polygons, by only using mathematics. It is cool, right? Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, I started recording math art videos a couple of months ago and I recorded four Desmos art videos. But Desmos is not the only place you can do art in mathematics. There are a few more platforms and one of them is GeoGebra. GeoGebra is different because you can work on um, real coordinate space on R3. You can create 3D math art on GeoGebra. Let me introduce GeoGebra to you first and then we will work on the real coordinate space. Here is the website geogebra.org slash 3D. GeoGebra has a lot of stuff and this is the link for 3D calculator. You can find the link in the description below. First of all, don't forget to log in the website. You can use your Google accounts or some other accounts here to do that. Okay, we logged in. I don't know why, but my profile picture doesn't show up here. When you open the link, you will see this screen. On the right, 3D space and on the left, the input column. Let me talk about the space first. You need to know the xy plane and the axis. The gray area you see represent the xy plane. So red and green are x and y axis. And uh, z is perpendicular to both, the blue one. To remember this easily, you can use the abbreviation RGB. You know, RGB means the lighting system. It is very popular in gaming. It basically means red, green and blue, RGB, the first letters. The order of letters matches with XYZ. Basically, RGB equals XYZ in order. So, X is red, R, Y is green, G, and Z is blue, B. Next, you can click the settings icon on the right top corner and make some changes. For example, you can hide the XY plane. You can also use your mouse and rotate the space just like that. For example, if you look at from the top, it will look like the classic coordinate plane x y plane right okay let's start with a point you can write points on the space a capital letter equal sign open the brackets write x y z coordinates and close it here's the point and it is 3d so we can see it from all different angles let's write another point great there is also tools option here when you click more you will see a lot of them this is awesome. You can use all these tools. In this video, I will focus on two of them, um, point tool and polygon tool. These are enough to start 3D math art. Um, first of all, I am going to start with the base of the project. We usually choose the XY plane as the base. That's why I am going to rotate the space and make it look like the classic coordinate plane. I am doing this because it is easier to work on the coordinate plane for the base. Now I'm gonna add the points. You can of course type points manually, but this tool, the points tool is great and it is super easy to use. It's a must if you want to choose points on the XY plane. Let's choose some points here. I am going to choose the origin first. And if you get closer to integer values, it automatically goes to that value. Let's go closer to the intersection of integer values and it goes to the point. Great. Now the points are ready for corners. I'm going to create a rectangular base here. Let's choose the polygon tool and create the base. Start with one, one of the points and then choose other points in order. And finally, choose the point you started. So here's my ABCD polygon. Here's how it looks like on the space. Okay, let's go back to 2D weave and then create the base of the house. Let me choose four points here. Okay, I think it's good. Let's connect them now. Great. Now the base is ready, uh, we can work on the z-axis. One thing you need to know guys, z-axis basically means the height. Because we are using xy plane as the base, so if you need a point higher than the base, you need to add positive z values. Lower than the base means negative z values. I'm going to add some points here. Um, you don't have to name them, because if you just write the coordinates, it automatically names it. It is good. So the point I will add will be higher than the point e. Um, e coordinates are 2, 4 and 0. If I add z values, it gives me some points higher. Z is 1 here, you see. If I increase z values, the points will be higher and higher. So I will make it 4. Okay, here it is. 2, 4, 4. Now I'm going to check F, G, H. 
and add 4 Z units there too. Because I'm going to create the ceiling, after that I'm, I will turn this shape into a rectangular prism. There are of course different ways to create rectangular prisms guys, and this is the basic one. Now, my 8 points are ready, it is time to combine them by using the polygon tool. Connect the points 4x4, four four, um, you will get a rectangular prism. Now, let's work on the roof. I'm gonna do a pyramid roof guys, so I need an apex point at the top. X will be 4 and Y will be 3, right? Uh, it will be at the center if you do that. So we also need the height. 5 is good, yes. Then I'm gonna use the polygon tool and create the faces. Let's color the roof. Let's make it red. Um, choose the face you want to color. When you choose a face, it will be shaded just like that. And then click this icon, color icon. Click plus to get more. Choose the color you want and change the opacity. I want to set it to 100%. Let's color other faces as well. Great. Now I'm gonna color down the walls of the building. Maybe something like gray will be good. I don't know. Yes, let's keep it like that. You don't have to close the, the coloring menu, by the way. You can just continue choosing and moving the graph. Okay, now you see all the points are visible. You can hide them, but the input column is too complicated. Uh, finding points will, will take a lot of time, so I'm gonna change the settings. Um, click the settings icon, then go to settings. Go to graph icon uh, on the right, and then change this one to order them by type. Now the input list changed. Everything is ordered group by group. It's really useful. Let's check this out. Okay, all the points are at the top right now. That's great. We can hide them all right now. Wonderful. Let's change the color um, for the ground. Okay. It is time to create a door and a few windows. Um, for, the, for the door, I will choose two points at the base of the house. Um, X is 3.5 for one side and and 4.5 for the other side is good. Uh, now I need two points on top of them. Copy these points guys and then add the Z value. Z, Z1 is good. Okay, this is good for the door. I can choose the polygon now. The thing is, after I color the door guys, it will look like that because dark gray is at the bottom and another color is at the top, um, it creates like a glowing effect. So we need to get rid of this gray color. One solution is we can change the polygon, the polygon that faces us. The front face of the house is created by the points F, J, K and G. Uh, I will change this. Let's unhide the points first. If you don't know what points to unhide, you can unhide all of them since all the points are at the top. Um, look at this now, here's the polygon. Now I'm adding other corners and make it around the door. Great, no glowing effect anymore. Let's add the windows. Um, you just need to choose the points on this face again. Um, X is 2.5 and Y is 2 on the face. And you need to play around with the Z values and get the points. Okay, these points look good now. Um, let's let's create the polygon. If you think the window is bigger than you want, um, you can double click and change the values. You can make things smaller or bigger if you need. Let's color the windows. Um, the same effect appeared here as well, but um, do you know what? It looks perfect for windows, right? I will keep it like that. It looks like a normal window. I always like this effect on windows. I was planning to do a two-story building, but I changed my mind. I'm gonna make it smaller. Let's change the points and make the house shorter. Double click the point and then change the Z value. Remember guys, Z means height. Yeah, it looks cute now. Let's hide all the points and the segments. It is time to add a chimney. Uh, I am going to add the base here. In order to do that, let's change the opacity of the roof. Don't make it zero because it will be really hard to change it from zero.
Let me add a point on the ceiling and it's going to be the base of the chimney. Let's see. First thing first, create the bases. Um, okay, it's good now. I will copy, paste, change the values and create the base. It may not be really visible from the angle uh, you are working on, so you can always change the angle. You can also color everything at the end, so um, if you do that, you don't have to um, deal with these problems. By the way, for all the projects, create the base first, then change Z values and then create the object. Now you see the points are ready, let's connect them and color them. I'm gonna make the ground darker. I will also create a doorstep here. One more step will be good. First the base, then the top, connect the points with the polygon tool, and then color. Finally, let's create the walls of the garden. Um, base first, then the top part, connect the points, and then color them. Okay, our first 3D GeoGebra project is ready. We worked on the coordinate space, R3, and I used guys points and polygons to create this beautiful 3D object. It is wonderful, right? And if you want to send this to your friends, your teachers, your students, click this menu icon, first save the graph, and then click this share icon, it gives you the link to share. There are also several options here, and one very cool thing is you can download this as a 3D object, and then 3D print it. I will just change the thickness and let's download it. Great, look at this guys. Here is the object, my project in 3D print app. It also tells you how much probably it costs if you print it. Wonderful, right? It would be great to keep your first ever 3D math art on your desk. You can also open this with 3D Weaver and work on um, these cool effects. Of course, there are different software to create 3D objects but we are creating 3D objects by only and only using mathematics. It is cool, right? This is the one and only 3D GeoGebra math art video on YouTube. And I hope I hope you like the video, guys. I hope you like the um, 3D house we just created on GeoGebra. And if you do, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. This is the first video. We just focused on points and polygons here, but um, I'm gonna create, guys, more tutorials soon. And after you try this, I believe you will like working with messing around with 3D objects on the coordinate space. Learning how things work in 3D is is super cool and I definitely recommend all of you to try this out okay that's it for today if you have any questions just comment below and let me know I'll be with you in another video about online teaching keep watching mathematics goodbye